What is going on guys? We are out here at a dealership checking out a car for Blake back here checking out a V-Spec 2 R34 GTR but while we're here I'm gonna do a little feature on the shop and let you guys see some of the cars they have for sale. Some of the stuff well actually I think only one of them right now is USA import legal but obviously we can ship anywhere in the world there's other countries out there you guys in Australia Canada places like that might be worth watching. Uh, these guys are another local dealership they don't deal with exporting to to multiple different countries like we do. So if you see something in here, you want us to source it for you, reach out to us. So here is the R34 GTR V-Spec 2 that we're taking a look at for Blake. You guys can see the full video on his, or on uh, the Garage Defend YouTube channel for everything that we're doing with this car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ichi, ni fun. <laughs> Go check out the Garage Within YouTube to check out everything we're doing today with that. It's been a whole adventure. We were up at the shop checking out some stuff. Now we're down here checking out this car and he's looking for the right R34 for him. But let's walk inside. Quick look at this one. But if you want to see more, Garage Within YouTube channel for this one. It is a pretty nice car. There's a couple small things on it, but it does seem to be pretty nice overall. Now, a couple cars that I did want to show you are a couple RX-7s back here. I guess we should probably look at the S15 first too. S15s have really, really been growing on me. And I'd really like to pick one up. This one doesn't have any information on it to say for sale on it, but I don't see any info on the car itself. But it does seem to be in pretty good condition. Now the shop, they said that they uh, repair a lot of cars too. They'll repair like normal cars and sell some of those. Um, the R34 actually had slight repair history. He said so minimal that you can't even see it. And we looked at the underbody where it was repaired and the bumper, the bumper's been replaced and the trunk and it's been repainted right here a little bit. But the repair job does look flawless. You can't tell it's been in an accident at all, but they were very upfront about that. Now, the RX-7. Let's go take a look at the FD RX-7 back here. This one, I believe he said was in 1997, so it's not old enough for the USA. Look at the wide body on that. Very, very wide. And look at that. Big old turbo on there. He said it's around 4, four to 450 horsepower. Quite nice, lots of modifications. Uh, price on this one is 2.98 million yen, which is equivalent to probably around 27,000 US dollars maybe, which that's not, uh, it's not surprising. FD prices have been on the rise. USA import legal ones are, some of them are around that price. This one's got a lot of work done to it though. And once again, they're not like, these prices aren't, inflated because of them wanting to sell to a, a US customer, an international customer, because as I stated before, they don't sell internationally. This is for local customers. So, and this is, we're not in the city anymore. We're not in the big cities. I mean, yeah, everybody knows what's going on out here with the market, but uh, it's not the international market that they're potentially looking at for the, the price rise on this. I'm, I'm just stumbling over my own words now to shut up. Um, obviously, that does drive up the price of these because they understand that customers internationally want these cars, but they're not directly selling them. Lancia Delta, too. That's pretty random. We'll take a look at it. I guess we'll take a look at it now before we move on. Lancia Delta. I've had a few requests for this, actually, on, um, on the messages. Quite a few people are asking for the, the Deltas. Uh, most of them want the... I think it's what the Evo version. Left hand drive. I don't really know much about these. I'm not uh, too versed on my Italian old cars. But they're cool. 
the model that everybody likes, the the Evos, I think, is what it's called, are definitely uh, collector's items now. They're up in the you know fifty, sixty thousand dollar range for the ones I've seen for sale. Uh, what else? There's another RX-7 back here, an FC that is legal for the states. We'll have to go take a look at that. Some random stuff, some random jams over here that better not get me copyrighted. Toyota Cresta. Missing the front bumper. Definitely doing some repairs on it right now. Uh, this garage, they have a demo car. It's not here, I guess, but they do D1 drifting in Japan. He saw my Formula Drift shirt and asked if I was a Formula Drift driver in the USA. I thought that was pretty funny, but uh, they do uh, semi-professional drifting here in Japan. So that might be what some of these cars are picked up for. You can see this one's missing a lot of stuff right now, but you can tell they're definitely working on it. And then the FC RX-7. Those are the wheels everybody likes, the Wontana Bays. This one is a 1991 USA import legal. And I know you guys keep asking, I've seen a few comments. I do read the comments as much as I can. I, I can't get back to everybody, but uh, yes, we ship worldwide. I know I say USA import legal a lot just because that's my home country and that's the country I think about when I think about the market and how the market kind of gets driven up. But uh, yes, worldwide shipping available. This one's been repainted. He said it's accident free. Uh, really nice condition. He actually started it up. Uh, I got a video on the other camera I'll throw in right now. And uh, it sounded really good and it's really clean uh, but I'm sure you guys are wondering the price it is 2.98 million yen which once again is around somewhere in the 27,000 US dollar range pretty impressive price the uh, I mean obviously you guys know anything old enough to go back is is uh, worth a lot of money anything that can be exported to the USA plus the the motor's been completely overhauled and the paint job and everything else it is a really really nice car got the interior all covered up keeping it nice and fresh Momo steering wheel seems to be in really nice condition on the inside as well Overall, a really, really nice FC. Now, I don't know what you guys think about the pricing on these. It does seem a little bit high, but it is a really nice quality car. Um, like I said, I mean, the market, it's crazy what anything USA import legal is, is fetching these days. And um, I've seen multiple FCs around this price, so this isn't too ridiculous of a price to be asking for such a clean FC, um, repair-free, and uh, with the nice paint job and the engine rebuild, I think it's pretty on for the price actually. It's it's crazy. I, I know it makes some of you guys mad and it it's gonna, oh, it's the uh, freaking, people are just trying to get a bunch of money. I mean, that's just what it, that's what the market is right now. Uh, old enough cars cost a lot of money. The demand is high and the stock in Japan is, uh, it's, 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 there's not, there's not any. It's really hard to find good condition cars that are sought after like this and uh, FDs that are old enough to go back, Supras, Skylines, it's, it's insane. Now there are some other cars out here we'll take a quick look at. Another S15. The slammed Audi, that looks really nice. This one is plated so it probably gets driven. I've been having some weird GoPro issues. It just cut out on me, it froze and then ended my clip without me doing anything. I think I need to check if there's an update but Porsche, Porsche, however you want to say it. And then there's some donor cars over here, some FCRX7s, probably used for parts. The Vert. This one's definitely seen better days. And then this one's pretty much completely, completely gutted. 
pretty cool to see the love for the rotaries uh, love i guess i don't know I mean, yeah they're sitting out here but i think probably a lot of their parts got frankenstein into the nice one inside i would imagine and then back to the v-spec 2 which i'm not going to go into here uh, there's also a four-door er34 over here looks like they're still doing some work on it uh, price is around 8,000 USD other than the bumper or the lights missing it looks pretty clean it looks like they've cleaned this one up and maybe had some of the pieces off for paint interesting I didn't notice that but uh, the hazards are on in the rear I wonder if they're even aware of that but it looks pretty cool Looks like it'd be a fun four-door drift car to haul your friends around in. This car is um, HK Turbo Charger. Okay. Uh, GT GT Turbo. Uh, horsepower is a uh, four hundred. Oh wow. <laughs> four hundred best drifting machine. Yeah. Yeah. Is it uh, for yeah. sale? Yeah. For sale or? For sale, yeah. <laughs> yes. Ikura? Ah, uh, uh, 150 Okay. 150 uh, one, Okay, okay. 50? Yeah, uh, oh, sorry. 150 150 And my, my, my. 1.5. Yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Come in as that. Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Mm. Japanese hey, yen. Hey, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, US, US dollar? Uh, Around 15,000 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So something like this isn't old enough to go back to the US yet, but you guys could definitely ship this to uh, Okinawa or somewhere like that. So this one's around 15,000 US dollars, give or take. 400 horsepower. Yeah, spec S with spec R basically converted. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. TV while you drive or drift. Bride seats, Momo wheel, gutted in the rear. Very fun car to drift. That is going to do it for this video. If you want to see the rest of our day, check out on this camera and on the Garage Defend channel what we got going on. In talks with the R34 GTR V Spec 2 for Jason. So if you want to see our whole adventurous day of everything that went on, Garage Defend YouTube channel, um, I will leave a hint that something did happen on the way down here. Uh, Dawson was driving, not me. And uh, just go over to that channel and check that out because it's uh, pretty funny. There he is. We were actually just talking about you. Hey, how's it going, boys? So, sorry, I'm, I'm juggling two videos here right now. I'm getting out of here now. Go check out the video from today on the other channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thank you for watching. Uh -huh.